everybody, it's Mrs. Wu here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Gim Kit, which is an online game to practice your vocabulary. So there's two basic ways I'm going to show you today, and then I'm also going to talk about a third way, which if my internet cooperates, we'll see that as well, but otherwise I will just tell you how to do it. So first thing you want to do is go to gimkit.com. So we'll type up here in our browser www.gimkit.com, which is G-I-M-K-I-T.com. So the first way I'm going to show you is if you do not have an account, how you can practice your vocabulary. And for my students at least, I send them the link to the practice set so they can just copy that link or they can click on the link through Canvas or wherever they're getting the link from. So. And what you'll do in that case is actually just paste in the link at the top. And this is what you see. Um, so since you did not have an account right here, you only have a few options. You have questions and answers, you have export, or you have share. So you can share the game with other people, like if they want to practice too, or yeah, those are your only choices. Um, on the right hand side, it says how many questions there are, it has the list of questions, and then at the top right, if you click where it says show answers, then it will open up each of those questions and show you the different answer options. The incorrect answers are going to be in black, and then the correct answer will be highlighted in green, like the text font is green. So this is a good way to practice if you don't want to actually play the game. You still have all the questions that you can go read through. Um, you may want to like put your hand up over the screen, over the answers, and then try to answer which would be the correct one. And then you can uncover your hand and see if you got it correct or not. So the second way I'm going to show you to practice today is if you want to actually play the game. But for this, you do need an account. So we're going to go back to gimkit.com and we're going to click sign up. So there's a few different options for signing up. I happen to have a pro account because I wanted to create as many sets as I wanted to and uh, be able to edit them as much as I want. But if you have a free account, that is completely fine. It'll let you normally create five sets, and right now they have a special going on for a COVID-19 situation where you can create 10 sets for free, and uh, you can edit those one time each. So that's what I'm going to show you for today is that free creation. And you can either do it with an email or you can continue with Google. So since I've already created an account, um, it's not going to show you all the options, but it'll ask you if you are a teacher, if you're a student, a parent, whatever you are, and you'll select that. If you select student, just be aware that you have to put in your parent email and they will have to confirm that it's okay for you to use this website. Um, but if you select one of the other options, it will not ask you that question. So when we have our own account here, we have a few options on the right hand or on the left hand side, uh, which are to create your kits, which are your question sets. So it's kind of like making a Kahoot or a Quizlet Live or quizzes or something like that. Just another game option. This one's a lot of fun because you can earn money in the game for answering questions correctly, and then you can buy different power ups. So once we have our account, I'm going to go ahead and paste that same link in that I had sent my students. And of course, you'll, you'll put in whatever link that you have for your game. And on the left, we now have more options now that we have an account. We've got questions and answers. We've got play. We've got export, share, copy, preview, and flag. So the one that I'm going to show you first is preview, 
and then if it will work, we will do play, but we'll have to see if the internet is cooperating. So when we click on preview, this is going to show you basically like a little phone screen, like as if you were playing the game on your phone. And it will just give you the normal questions and then the sample answers down below with little buttons that you can press and practice. So let's answer a couple and you can see how it plays. So each question you can see that you get correct, you earn a little bit of money. And then you can click continue to go on to the next question or you can go into the shop and buy things. Okay. So the other option to play by yourself is to use the actual play button over here and that will create it as if you are the teacher and it will open up a page that has a sign in code that you can input the numbers and then put your username and then hopefully sign into the game and then play against other people or just by yourself if you want to. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like, but it, it may not work. So. so when you open the game, it'll give you different options for how you want to play. Right now they have a humans vs zombies option or classic, or you can do team mode if you have a lot of people together. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to do classic and then you'll click continue. So on this screen, it will give you the website to join at the top, which is gimkit.com slash play, and then it will tell the players to enter the code. So in order to do this by yourself, you'll have to open a new tab in your browser and input that code, which is 83778 for this one. Um, it will change every single time. So you type in the code and click join. And then you'll type in your name. And then click join again. So while you're waiting on the other screen to start, like for your teacher to start the game, um, it will give you some tips on how to play and you can also draw pictures in the background which of course if you're playing by yourself you don't really have to wait on that but just to show you so let's see if the internet's gonna work crossing fingers we'll click start game in our other tab ah, it is gonna work all right so here you've got the music and everything playing with it and it will have those same questions just like when when I gave you that little phone screen and the answers. Okay. You can toggle off the sound over here if you want to. And you can also end the game if you want to end it before the time limit is up. That's basically how you play. If you want to buy stuff in the shop, it will give you that option in between each question that you answer, or you can go up here to the top left to those three lines and then go to the shop. Now, the most useful ones for making more money are gonna be these ones on the left, basically this, these three. And then if you don't know the questions very well yet or you don't know the vocabulary that well the insurance is going to be helpful for you as well so you can go into each one and upgrade and if you can afford something with the money that you have sure i'll get myself out of the way you can see we have five thousand and one dollars right now if you can afford the upgrades for the different stuff it will give you a green circle and if you can't afford it yet it'll be red but if you just want to check how much it would cost you can click on it 
and it will say buy for whatever amount. And so if we upgrade this, money per question, and then we continue to the questions, and every time you answer a question correctly, it'll give you extra money than what you previously would have made. All right, um, there's also another option in the shop, which is kind of fun, although it's more fun when you're playing with other people, it is down at the bottom where there's power-ups. Um, this fun new one they've added is called Dreamweaver, and it changes the music for everybody in the class. Um, or there's different power-ups you can use for people or against people. If you want to change your color scheme, there's also a themes option in the shop which is here. Um, the fun one, of course, everybody tries to get is pure gold, which is super expensive. But if you happen to get stuck on a question and it won't let you answer, which happens to my students sometimes, like it just freezes, um, then it, what you should do is go into the shop and then go back to questions and then it should give you a new question and kind of unfreeze things. So just a tip if it starts messing up on you. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the game. And of course it'll give you a leaderboard. If you're playing by yourself you're obviously going to get first place. But if you're playing against other people, it'll give kind of like a podium and then everybody else underneath. So, lots of different ways to play GimKit. It's a lot of fun to practice vocabulary, um, whether you're by yourself or in a class. So, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. See ya!